Today we're going to look at something that's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. We're going to talk about trading soybeans. It's pretty interesting stuff. Stay where you are. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Thanks for coming back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about trading soybeans. I've done a little bit of it in my time, but I don't trade it regularly. I think it's a great market, but I don't think of it often enough, actually. We got a few methods for trading soybeans that I'm sure that you'll want to try out. Since there's so much information to talk about, I'm going to divide this video into two parts. In this part, we'll discuss the details of what it means to trade soybeans and how to go about doing it. And next Friday, we'll talk about the best times to trade soybeans, and we'll discuss three strategies for you to try out. So did you know that the U.S. is the world's second largest soybean producer? And did you know that 98% out of all the soybean farms in the U.S. are family-owned and operated? This is far more than other tradable commodities like corn, for instance. And did you know that my brother had a soybean farm back when I was a teenager, and I spent summers working his farm with him? Yeah, that was a couple of years ago, and it's probably not in the record books, but it is true. He had about 100 acres in Indiana with maybe 30 acres in soybeans almost every year, but I digress. In this video mini-series, I always wanted to do a mini-series. <laughs> in this video mini-series, we'll discuss all you ever wanted to know about soybeans and go over several popular soybean trading strategies used by professionals and hedgers. So. Let's hit the basics. Soybeans are one of the most popular commodities worldwide because of their multiple uses and high nutritional values. According to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange Group, or the CME Group, the soybean futures contract is the world's fourth largest commodity futures contract with an average daily volume of almost 250,000 contracts. Soybean futures rank right behind crude oil, corn, and natural gas the top three commodity futures contracts. Soybeans are versatile commodity products that are not only widely used as food products, but are also used in industrial applications like biodiesel, textiles, polyesters, etc. The top three world's biggest soybean producers, Brazil, the United States, and Argentina, account for over 80% of the world's total soybean production. When trading soybeans, you have to keep in mind that prices can be severely impacted by the effects of climate change, economic trends, and political developments on the American continent. Another important fact about soybeans trading is the massive increase in growth production. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, or the USDA, the world's soybean production was up 7.9% in 2020, 2021, to 361 million metric tons. And during the same time period, January 20 through December 20, soybean prices soared from $9.68 to $13.16, an increase of almost 38%. Trading soybeans is much more attractive because it's difficult to manipulate the price of a commodity. So, it's harder to see a GameStop-like retail frenzy in the soybean market. In case you haven't been around, GameStop stock was a textbook pump and dump scam. Now, don't take it the wrong way, but to some degree, all markets are manipulated by the smart money traders, the big guys. But the key takeaway is that it's wise to get involved with trading soybeans, as it's a highly liquid investment vehicle, and therefore it's difficult to manipulate. Now, let's take a look at the soybeans futures contract. One of the most liquid markets for trading soybeans is the futures market. The soybean futures contract enables traders to speculate on the rising and falling future prices of soybeans, allowing them to make money in both bullish and bearish markets. You need to first have a basic foundation in order to be able to successfully trade soybeans futures. Like all futures, soybean futures are traded through standardized contracts. The key specification of a soybean contract includes the soybean ticker symbol of ZS, the soybean contract size of 5,000 bushels, the soybean minimum tick or price fluctuation, which is $12.50 per contract or about a quarter cent per bushel. The soybean expiration months are January, March, May, July, August, September, and November, and the soybean trading hours because soybean futures are traded on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or CME. The times are quoted in Chicago time or U.S. Central time, 
which is one hour behind New York time. The times would be Sunday through Friday, 7 p.m. to 7.45 a.m. Central Time, and Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 1.20 p.m. Central Time. If you want to learn how to trade soybeans, you also need to know what factors drive soybean prices. The key factors that can have a drag on the soybean prices include soybean fundamentals, soybean seasonal tendencies, climate change, global trade war, and the manipulation of the U.S. dollar. Knowing the key factors that can have an impact on the soybean price, you should also keep track of regular reports that have an impact on the soybean price as well. The World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimate Report, issued by the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a monthly basis. The Grain Stocks Reports, issued by the National Agricultural Statistics Service on a quarterly basis. And the Prospective Plantings Report, which is issued by the USDA with farmers around the U.S. Now that's going to do it for part one of the Soybean Trading Strategies mini-series. Next week, we're going to talk about when is the best time to buy or sell in the soybean market, and we'll talk about three strategies for doing it. Come back for my videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. New York time. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you with a couple of trade picks on Monday. <laughs>